I also have a conspiracy theory. You want the noise brought on you? Because here it comes. What? The noise. <laughs> let, let me pose a question then to, to the table. Talk to me. Let me hear this. I'm, I'm making a short list of coaches that need to be gone mm-hmm. next year. We have our top two. Yeah, we got Gase and we got Lynn Pure Locks. That's the one and two seed. So my my three, I'll th- I'll just toss in there before I ask the question is Doug Peterson, of course. But I like it. But my one, it's different. I I'm just saying that given the relative position of the Chargers and the expectation of the Jets, couldn't you make the argument that Anthony Lynn is far more deserving of criticism than Adam Gase? Hundred percent. I also have a conspiracy theory with uh, the Jets keeping Adam Gase on, so they can tank for that number one seed. Mm-hmm. I do believe if they had uh, a, maybe a top twenty, top fifteen coach, that they would they would have won maybe two or three games this year. Mm-hmm. No, one hundred percent. And listen, I don't even think this is news, Max. I think you just dropped the truth, the straight on truth, and yep. it's because of. The talent levels on both sides. It's it's just the Chargers have so much, and, and going into this season, uh, regardless of injuries, you had an expectation to win, and the fact that you have three wins, uh, one of them coming from the Jets, so we can't even count that one, and just the fact that you've been losing so many games by by such uh, such small margins that it's like there has to be something going wrong here. This. You have too much to work with. You have what seems to be a superstar level, or if not, he'll get there eventually type quarterback. You can't be showing this to him his first go round. You, you can't show him that we're a losing franchise and things like this. You have to sell him on this thing so that going forward he has the confidence that we can do this. I mean, if you come up with seven wins this season, he's like, hey, I, I get three of my all-stars back, my all-pros, and there's no way we don't make the playoffs. So just this whole season as a whole has been very – Saddening if you're if you're a Chargers fan and especially if you're an Anthony Lynn guy. One of the ten Chargers fans. That's yeah, one of the, one one of the five podcast. that show up to games. And, and then if you're looking at the Jets, they didn't really have any expectations going into the season. This is a team that we looked at as maybe if it was two wins, as like, if it was maybe an 0 16 team. This was no yeah. surprise to anybody. But what was a surprise was the Chargers and with the reasoning for that, Anthony Lynn. I, Anthony Lynn lost the locker room. And yeah. this is my only yeah. thing that I like about Anthony Lynn usually is that he's a nice guy. Mm-hmm. People like him. Great players guy. like playing for him. But now we get news this week that the players say that um, they're they're playing on special teams as a favor to him. Like that he's lost the locker room. He's lost the respect of his players. What kind of culture do you have in your organization where players are like, oh, yeah, we play special teams because, yeah, you know, we I guess we have to. I mean, yeah. it's terrible. And, and my point is this. If you're if you're the Chargers and you're the Jets, the Jets are likely going to draft Trevor Lawrence, right? Yeah. And the Jets yep. have a lot of turnover at head coach. They have not had their head coaches have a lot of time to actually implement systems. Now they have a lot of turnover in coaching. Period. But the, controversial or not, and I wish there was a bet for this because I would take it. Is that I think the Jets would end up being better overall, keeping Gase and hiring an OC. And a um, and a quarterbacks coach that stays with Trevor Lawrence mm-hmm. for four or five years. Well, I one hundred percent an OC agree. with good play call. Hire the Clemson quarterback coach and OC. Fine, mm-hmm. it was the same thing that they did with Joe Brady, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You you work like that. That would be a better team than Anthony Lynn staying as the head coach w- just for the damage that he does. I was just gonna say to you, I know that Jets are zero and nine with Adam Gase. Zero and ten. Zero and ten. Excuse me, but mm-hmm. if. If Anthony Lynn was the Jets coach, I think they would have done even worse. Yeah, you you, they, you might they, be negative. That, that point differential would have been way worse just because of how he coaches games. No, and, and you saw that throughout the season is that Anthony Lynn consistently was just throwing away games, and then you look at the other side, you look at the Jets situation, and Adam Gase was in charge of play calling, and then they shifted it over to somebody else, and the team looked better. It looked like they could move the ball more efficiently. So maybe that doesn't have to do entirely with him being a bad head coach. Maybe – he is a good head coach. He just needs to stick to his role. 